So a few days ago in LA, there was a test screening for David Gordon Green's upcoming Blumhouse production, Exorcist Believer. This is supposed to be a direct sequel to the first Exorcist and the first in a new trilogy of Exorcist films. And the feedback was not good at all. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Like I said in that little intro, a test screening has happened for Exorcist Believer, directed by David Gordon Green and produced by Blumhouse, aka Jason Blum. So again, like I said, this is going to be the first in a trilogy of films that is going to be a direct sequel to the original Exorcist film. Now, I was very late to the party when it came to seeing the first Exorcist. I saw that film for the first time end of 2014. It's not that I didn't want to see it, I just never got around to it. My parents forbid me to see it when I was a kid next to Batman Returns and Hook. Finally saw it in my mid-20s and what I saw was awesome. I loved it and it's cool to compare with people who saw it back in the day. Some people who saw it when it first came out in the cinemas and were horrified by what they saw. It still holds up. It still stands the test of time. It is a subtle horror movie. It's a psychological thriller and it still hits hard. And this is my concern with what has just happened with these test screens. They're trying to recapture that lightning in a bottle. And that's why you say lightning in a bottle because usually it only happens once. So the article I'm going to be referencing comes from comingsoon.net and they go on to say, early exorcist believer reactions are in and a According to a report from the World of Real, the film had a less than stellar showing in front of test audiences. In the report, it's mentioned that early reactions for David Gordon Green's planned sequel to the horror classic have not been good. A screening took place this week in New York City, and according to both the report and other insiders on Twitter, audiences didn't like the film whatsoever. Mostly early reactions seem to suggest the film is long and not scary. So I probably should correct that from the intro. For some reason I read somewhere it was in LA, but this screening took place in New York. There you go. Still, both reports note that potential reshoots could help salvage the film, which did feature one excellent jump scare according to Twitter user and insider Viewer Anon. If you guys aren't aware who Viewer Anon is, this person is like the Mr. X of the entertainment world, and usually they're always right on the money with their predictions and what they know and the inside info that they have, whether it be from superhero films right up to horror films. They just know everything. The Exorcist Believer serves as a direct sequel to the original horror feature, which was adapted from William Peter. Peter Blatty's novel, and Halloween's David Gordon Green directing a screenplay he is co-writing with Scott Teams, Danny McBride, and Peter Sattler. Okay, this makes me very nervous because obviously David Gordon Green and Danny McBride wrote Halloween 2018. We also had Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. And you can seriously see the downward trajectory of those films. Halloween 2018 was great. It was refreshing. It was obviously a direct sequel to the original 78 Halloween. Halloween Kills was quite divisive. I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was great. Yes, it does have its problem. And then Halloween Ends. If you guys want to go watch my review of that on my main channel, it was something else. It was just a disappointing end to what was supposed to be this massive confrontational fight between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers, and everyone just felt really let down. Well, most people for that part. And it makes me nervous that David Gordon Green, Danny McBride, and the other writers are going into this in terms of doing a trilogy, and is it gonna be the same? It's just gonna have that same downward trajectory as the new Halloween franchise. The cool thing is, Ellen Burstyn is coming back, who was the mum in the original Exorcist. There's no real word yet whether Linda Blair is coming back, I would love it if Aline Dietz came back. She was the face of Pazuzu in the first Exorcist. She was uncredited in the film. But yeah, she played the face of Pazuzu. This sweet looking lady just played the absolute face of evil. It would be cool if they got her back in some way, shape or form as a cameo or whoever the antagonist is gonna be the face of that antagonist, or one of the antagonists. And usually when it comes to test screenings, you're really not supposed to pay attention because sometimes it can be a really good test screening through the roof and the film absolutely bombs at the box office and from critics when it's actually officially released. And there are other times in this case where the test screenings are so bad, but the film comes out and it's absolutely incredible. But like the article mentioned, there still are the hopes of reshoots. So that could salvage the film, as the article suggests, but at this case, who knows? I am very apprehensive about this. I really don't think the first Exorcist needed a sequel to begin with. We obviously have Exorcist 2, 3, no spin-offs, and I just feel like it just should have stayed as is. But I understand at the time back then, it was an absolute smash hit. This is franchise potential, and they obviously needed sequels. But for the most part, I, I think it's just too late at this point. But of course, I'm gonna be there opening day to see the film. Of course I want it to succeed, but just hearing these early reactions, 
It's not good. Anyway, guys, let me know down below your thoughts. Do you want another Exorcist sequel? Do you want another three <laughs> Exorcist movies? I myself just am fine with the first one. Again, saw it in 2014, still holds up, still stands the test of time. Love your guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.